Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming bringing you this Team of the Season player review. And as you can see up on screen, we have ourselves the Team of the Season, Luca Tony. And we've got him over there. We picked him up for 36,000 coins. Really nice offer on this guy. We played six games for him with him, and he scored 16 goals for us. It's just an absolute great record to have on a player. One assist as well, and one yellow card, which I believe wasn't really his fault. But anyway, besides that, he's six foot four. He's a really tall player. Only got four. 43 pace which many people would get off put by because they look for the pacier players but he's a really gem of a card so I'm going to go through the review I'm going to go for his in-game stats if you guys did miss the other three videos I uploaded today which were team of the season top rack Leno and Mandzukic reviews be sure to check them out or go in the description of this video it should be a, a link to the whole uh, reviewing playlist that I do so be sure to check those out as well but getting back to Mr. Luca Tony he is such a great card in the game 43 pace, don't worry about that. He's got the great heading ability. He's got 99 on pretty much all the important stats you need as a striker in terms of finishing, in terms of heading accuracy. He's got 97, 99 on his penalties, 99 on the shot power, and 99 on the volleys. It makes him pretty much a target man to go to in the game. And what I did with my one, for those of you guys wondering what sort of formations I use, I actually use a formation I do when I show you guys in the beginning. So I used a 4-3-3 for him. Just pretty much got a team of the season, um, Kandreva on one side and El Shirawi on the other side. By the way, guys, another video is going to be out after this around about 10 o'clock approximately. So that's going to be team of the season, Antonio Kandreva. If you guys have any suggestions on players you'd like me to do a review on, even if it's an informed card, leave them down below in the comment section and I will get to those. And you'll probably see four videos out tomorrow as well. So we've got a lot of videos to get through, but nonetheless, I'm enjoying it. You guys are probably having as much fun as well, understanding which players to buy in the game. Now he does have 98 strength, which I found really counteracted his uh, lack of pace because with that, he doesn't really get pushed off the ball. And when you don't have a player with such great pace, it's sort of, you know, sort of fairly good. Now, over there, you can see he rides those bikes, sends that overhead perfectly into the back of the net with that 99 power on it as well. And anything you get with a cross to this guy, he will literally connect with it. Look at that over there. He just sends it into the top corner. Keepers are not even going to bother diving to those. Uh, anything from a corner as well. Look at that. Keepers just looking at it. It's just so comical because anything he did, uh, keepers were very slow to react to it. And uh, keepers like Neuer, Handanovic, and uh, even I think I played Czech or twice. So... He just put the ball in the net, and uh, that's pretty much what you need in a striker. Just a player that will find it. And now, you'll also see in a second that his weak foot, he does have four-star weak foot. And that's actually a really good thing for him, because he's not very fast. But when you've got a player with a good weak foot, he will tuck it in. That one over there was pretty much a sitter. Can't really miss those any day of the week. And even their open goal, you can never miss one of those. He will be very uh, acrobatic, and you'll probably see, more or less, he's a very good aerial player. So anything sort of in the air, you'll try hitting it on a volley or an overhead or literally just nod it in. It's just, that's the way he played for me in the game, and it was such a joy to use this guy as a player. I'm really glad I got to use him. Um, also, if you guys have any suggestions on other Team of the Season players you'd like me to review, leave them in the comments section, and uh, I'll get to them. And I'll also mention that at the end of the video as well, just in case. Now, over there, you can see penalty-wise, 99 penalties. He's going to go to either side very effectively. I think it's if you hold it for two seconds in the direction, and whilst doing the power, he sort of sends it right to the corners. So, really great stuff over there as well. Now, over there, you can see just anything from a corner just goes off his head bounces into the back of the net and one player I'd actually like to see myself I'm going to probably do this uh, team of the season Mandzukic and team of the season Tony together they would be a deadly combo up front both target men in the game and you can see that those are the sort of the teams I came up against in division one now getting over to his pros and cons or strengths and weaknesses as some say Definitely his strengths are great heading ability in the game. Finishing wise, perfect, precise finishing. Very clinical in that side. Aerial ability, uh, I'd definitely say he's probably one of the top players I've used in terms of aerial ability. Weak foot. He's got four-star weak foot. You can't go wrong with that because he does tuck it in on his weak foot. And you guys probably also saw a power shot he did take in on his weaker foot. And with the strength, it just sort of works really well for him. He doesn't get barged off the ball against big centre-backs, and that's something unique in the game. Now, in terms of weaknesses, though, it was the two-star skill moves. They got to me a little bit, but I wouldn't say there's too much of an issue. If you're just crossing the ball to him, he's going to be a great player for a day and a year. And then in terms of uh, pace being a bit slow, but, you know, you get used to him after a bit, and that sort of doesn't become a factor. And then with dribbling, he sort of 
fumbled with the ball occasionally and sort of kicked the ball forward, so I had to give him that as a weakness as well. But in terms of uh, ball control, he's got really good ball control. So over there, you can see I've given him a 9.1 because I really had a great fun with this player. I'd highly recommend him, guys. He's very cheap, 30,000 coins approximately, so... Get your hands on this guy, try him out, and let me know also what you guys think of him in the comment section below. If you guys have any suggestions on players you'd like me to review, leave them also in the comment section and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And if you guys have enjoyed the video, by all means, please do drop it a like, it's very appreciated. And subscribe if you're new for more daily FIFA 14 content. But this has been AVJV Gaming, and I'll catch you guys for the next video.